hi friends good morning uh, i hope uh, all of you well so myself nagaya siramant i am explaining uh, arm 7 instruction set so this is the part 1 of uh, arm instruction set in that seventh video so in the previous class we discussed uh, data processing instructions under that uh, we discussed different types of data processing instructions move instructions those are mov mvn move moves the data from source to destination operand mvn negated so it moves the negated value to the destination operand then we discussed arithmetic instructions under that we discussed uh, add addition adc addition with carry suv subtraction with uh, borrow so that is spc rsb sub, uh, reverse subtraction rsc reverse subtraction with carry then we discussed the logical instructions under that logical and logical or logical exclusive or and logical bit clear instruction then we discussed the comparison instructions under that we discussed the cmp comparison then compare negated test equality and test bit so then we discussed the multiply instructions under that mainly mul multiply uh, then mla multiply and accumulate then we also discussed under multiplication instructions umul unsigned multiplication long smull sign multiply long umlal unsigned multiply and accumulate long then sign multiply and accumulate long instruction these are the instructions we discussed under multiply instructions then barrel shifter instructions under this barrel shifter we discussed the uh, lsl logical shift left lsr logical shift right then uh, we discussed ror rotate right then rrx rotate right with extend and also asr instructions so in this video i am going to explain load and store instructions so that is the main objective of this video load and store instructions we have two instructions under load and store instructions ldr load str store so first we'll discuss first instruction ldr so the syntax or format of this instruction is ldr that is instruction then condition followed by b b stands for byte then rd uh, destination register then addressing the addressing stands for it is a memory location value so another syntax of this instruction may be ldr that is the instruction then conditions then we have uh, conditions under suffix as h h stands for half sb sign byte sh sign half word then rd stands for destination register then addressing so this is the syntax of this ldr instructions so this ldr we can use in different way as ldr b ldr condition is b b stands for byte ldr h load register of off that is load off load register ld sb that is load sign byte ld sh load uh, sign off word so that is the meaning of all these uh, b h s b and s h meanings so the meaning of this instruction is it loads 32 bit number from the memory addressing so whatever we have data in the memory location that will be loaded into some register it may be byte value or it may be half word or it may be full 32 bit value so if you mention b ldr b it loads byte value that is 8 bit number if you mentioned h half word 16 bit number it will be load if you mentioned only ldr it will load full 32 bit number from the memory location that is the meaning of this line then it may be byte or half word or sign byte or sign half word so if you see the examples so here i consider ldr r0 comma in the bracket r1 so here r0 is also resistance r1 is also resistance but r1 is uh, placed within a bracket so this indicates it is a pointing memory location that memory location Uh, will be pointed by resistance R1. So, what is the meaning of this instruction? It loads so 32 bit value from this memory location to R0 register. That is the meaning. It loads the 32 bit value from the R1 register to R0. So that I written here. Data available in R1 memory location load to 
or not. So if we consider some examples, so here I have the memory location, value 1 is the memory location name. So in that I am loading the 32 bit number, that's why we have here DCD, decide, uh, double word, word is 16 bit, double word is 32 bit number. So I have 32 bit number, see 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So each bit represents 4 bits. So total 8 are there, 8 into 4, 32 bits. So 32 bit number, this is second number, this is the third number. That will be available under memory location name is value 1. So this value 1, I will assign to some register. How? See here, LDR R1 comma equal value 1. Now your memory location name value 1 is assigned to R1. Why I have to assign like this to some register? Because I have to access this all the values from the memory. If you want to access from the memory uh, data, so first we have to load in some register values that is pointed by as memory location. So here the R1 is pointed as the memory location name as value 1. So now you can access these values how see LDR R0 comma in the bracket R1. So now the R1 is pointed as memory location that name is value 1 under these values are there. Once if you execute this line LDR R0 comma R1 the first 32 bit value so this is the 32 bit value that will be loaded into R0 that is the meaning of LDR. So in place of LDR if you place LDR B ldr b then it loads only byte value from this memory location what is the byte value so 1 1 so lower ls beside 1 1 so that is byte value so byte in the sense 8 bit so 1 is that contains internally 4 bits in terms of binary this one also in terms of binary it is 4 bit so total 8 bit that is 1 1 will be moved to r not if you used b if you used h if you used H, what happens? LDR H load half word. So nothing but here it is double word it is there. So half word in the sense 16 bit 1 1 1 1. So only 4 ones will be loaded to R0 register. So you can ask sir the R0 having 32 bit how it will be stored 16 bit. So what, what will happen? It will be uh, load as R0 value as 0 0 0 0 then 1 1 1 1 like that R0 value will be loads. So that is about uh, H. Suppose you have sign, uh, suppose this value TP, if it is sign number, then you have to represent as SB and as SH. If it is byte value, you can represent sign value SB. If it is half with sign bit, and then you can represent SH. So that is LDR uh, instruction. So other examples you can see LDR RB. So here byte value will load. LDR H, half word, 16 bit value will be load. LDSB if it is the value available in R1 is sign number negative number then you can use SB uh, then if you want to load 16 bit of sign number then you have to use LDSH okay so then we'll go for next instruction STR STR again syntax of STR it will be same as LDR C STR then condition then followed by B B if you use condition as byte then destination register, then addressing, addressing in the sense it is a memory location pointing. So then another syntax str condition h space rd comma addressing. So h indicates here the off word. So you can use strb or you can use str h. If you used str it uh, loads, it stores 32 bit number. If you use strb it stores byte value if you used h it stores the th uh, half word value that is the meaning of b h and only just str so str stands for store so it stores 32 bit number into memory addressing so in the previous example load there we are taking the value from the memory location to the some registers here in this str whatever value available in the register that i am that we have to load into the memory location if you want to load the data into the memory location we have to use str that is store if you want to take the data from the memory you have to use ldr ldr instruction so you can consider as byte or half word in case of store so one example str r0 comma in the bracket r1 so you have the value in the r0 that you want to store in the memory location so you can use str str stores R0 value in the memory location pointed as R1. So that is the meaning of this instruction. R0 value stores in R1 memory location. 
so if you want to see the example see here uh, initially I consider memory location name as value 1 so that is I decided as 32 bit value so initially I don't have any values in the memory location just I pointed as 0x 0 now you want to store the value in this memory location first I have to assign that memory location name in some register so LDR R1 comma equal value so what happens here the value 1 memory is assigned to R1 so now I have some data in R0 that is R0 comma number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I want to load into this memory location so first I will take this value in some register by using move instruction move R0 comma number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it is a decimal number so that hexadecimal number will be stored in R0 then I want to store this R0 value in the memory location that is my aim so what I have to do use str instruction str R0 comma in the bracket R1 so R1 is pointed your value 1 so once if you execute this instruction str so it stores R0 value in the memory location R1 so that is the meaning of str instruction so if you we can see some other example strb it stores byte of value so r0 comma in the r1 suppose you have r0 value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so byte value is 7 8 that is hexadecimal value of 7 8 will load into r1 memory location strh so store half word suppose your r0 value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so half word first half word is 5 6 7 8 so the this is a decimal the hexadecimal equivalent to 5 6 7 8 will be loaded into r1 memory location so that is the meaning of strh so this is about the syntax and uh, for and example of these two instructions we'll see how these instructions will execute in the uh, software so just we'll see then we'll get clear picture of about these two instructions so I have the software so here I wrote the small code including of LDR instructions so just uh, I will check any errors are there in this so no errors I will execute I hope you know all the steps about this how to use this software see here so I want to execute this program by step by step so I will use F11 so here I executed the first line LDR R0 comma equal value 1 what is this value 1 value 1 I represent as a memory location name value 1 of DCD type so that is decide double word so I have 32 bit number I consider here three numbers these three numbers are available under value 1 memory location so what is this address of this value 1 so that I loaded into R0 now R0 having the address 000 followed by 18 so if you want to see that memory location just you go to the view and here you select memory windows under memory windows memory 2 if you type that memory address so 0x 00000018 why it is 18 your R0 is loaded as address is 18 in that 18 I have all these three values all these three values so just enter it so you see here in this memory location 11018 so I have all the three values are available is it clear so these values I want to take it to some register so that is my aim of this program because I am using load uh, instruction I want to load the value from the memory to a register so now values are available in the memory location so this line I executed already next instruction LDR R1 comma R0 so R0 is representing your memory location from that I want to fetch the what is the value 32 bit value what is 32 bit value so this is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so first all 4 1 1 ones or 8 1 1 ones so that will be loaded into R1 you can see here initially R1 is 0 once if we execute that instruction so your r1 instruction r1 register loads 32 bit value is it clear so next i used one more condition b ldr b what it does so load register byte it loads byte of value from this memory location what is your r0 this is r0 location 18 in that byte value what is the byte value first 11 so that is your 8 bit or 11 so 11 will load into which register R2 you can see here R2 initially it is 0 once if execute that line it will be load only 11 so only byte of value will be load then 
I will execute LDRH of word. So that is 16 bit. 16 bit in the sense 2 bytes. So 1, 1, 1, 1. So 4 ones will be loaded into register R3. So initially R3 is 0. So now you can see R3 once if you execute this. So now it loads the 16 bit value that is LDRH. Then LDSB. These instructions LDSB and LDSH will be useful with respect to sign bit number. Here I didn't give any sign bit value and if you give any negative values with respect to that, that will affect in the CPSR register of uh, conditional flags that is negative flag, zero flag, carry flag and overflow. In that it will be affect all these two instructions. So then we will check for another instruction that is uh, store instruction. In that store. Here I already wrote the program. So once again I will execute this. Here my aim is I have to load the value uh, from the register to memory location. That is the meaning of store. It stores the value from register to memory location. So first initially I consider the memory location as the result here. So decide of uh, 32 bit number. So initially I made it as 0, 0x0. Zero zero. So my aim is I have to load all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is an decimal number, equivalent of hexadecimal number I have to load into this memory location. So first I will take this value into some register. So for that LDR is their instruction LDR R1 comma equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So once if you press F11 so it will load the equivalent of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is a decimal number the hexadecimal value of this number will be loaded into R1 register so this is the hexadecimal value 00 BC 614E then uh, I will assign what is the uh, memory location for this result so that I will load in the some register R0 so R0 loads the memory location of result address in the R0 so what is the address of this R0 that is 4 followed by seven zeros four triple zero then four zeros that is address of r not so you can check initially of that memory location what it contains so you go to view and memory memory windows then memory 2 under memory 2 you type 0x four zero 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 so press enter see initially i don't have any value in this memory location so my aim is i have to load the value of the equivalent uh, decimal value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that is 00 0 BC 614E. So 4E is LSB value, then 61, then followed by BC, then followed by 00. So it loads in the from LSB to MSB side. 4E will be load in this position like that it will loads in the memory. So how it load? So I have for that I, I have to use STR instruction store R1 value. What is R1 value? This is R1 value that I have to load into the memory location of R0. So once if we execute this, so immediately it will be load into the memory location. STR. Just a minute. Yeah. See you can see 4E61 bc and 00 4e why it is 4e now because lsb value is e and 4 so in this way it will be stored 4e first then 61 then bc then 00 so 4e 61 bc 0 so what it happened here we stored resistance value in the memory location i hope you understood what is the difference between ldr and str ldr loads the value from register to memory location str it stores the value from the register to the memory location. In LDR, we are taking the data from the memory to register. In store, we are take, uh, loading, uh, we are storing the data into the memory locations. Thank you for watching this video.